Many New Mexicans will be on the road this weekend traveling to other homes to celebrate with family members and friends. A recent report shows our state is ranked in the top three when it comes to drunk driving deaths. Reporter Alyssa Munoz joins us now with what the county is doing to help. Yeah, just last year, there were over 8,000 DWI arrests made from across the state. Today, I spoke with the sheriff's office who, what they're telling me what they're planning to do to keep eyes on the road. And as for the Department of Transportation, they say they're providing resources to keep drunk drivers off the streets. During Christmas, uh, New Year's uh, time frames, we do find a lot more uh, DWI instances. Sergeant Flavin is a part of the DWI team for the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. He says they plan to stay on top of drunk drivers. We'll move it around the city and we'll just deploy out and look for drunk drivers uh, throughout the whole night all the way until, you know, late in the evening past midnight hours. According to the Department of Transportation's DWI data, last year 37 percent of deadly crashes were alcohol related. But comparing 2022 to 2021, there has been a decrease in alcohol related deaths. Traffic Safety Director Jeff Burles says no family should bear the death of a loved one from driving while intoxicated. Over the past few years, uh, the impaired driving fatality numbers have been decreasing. Um, but, you know, even with one fatality, that that's too much. You know, that's that's somebody's mother, grandmother, aunt, that's someone, someone's family member. So Brella says this is why they started a new program called Take a Ride on Us in 2017 to collaborate with Uber and Cumulus Media radio stations to prevent DWIs. As of last month, over 40,000 New Mexicans got a safe ride home using this program. You know, having that partnership um, really impacts those numbers because, you know, it allows people to get a free ride credit to, to get home. And there's also a code that you can use on Uber to get $10 off your next ride, but that's only for the first 2,000 riders. You can find more information on our website. But for now, reporting in Albuquerque, Alyssa Munoz, KYT Action 7 News.